The IL-114-300 is a comprehensively modernized variant of the Soviet-era il one 4 regional turboprop, which was developed to meet the increasing demand for domestically produced, reliable, and efficient aircraft in Russia's vast and frequently isolated regions. This aircraft is well-suited for regional and local roads, including those with limited infrastructure, as it is designed to accommodate 64 to 68 passengers. The program has reached a critical juncture in its development as of June 2025, with a total of 116 certification flights completed by two prototype aircraft, bearing tail numbers 54115 and 54116. It is important to note that 37 of these flights took place within the last month, which indicates that the testing program has been accelerated. Experienced test pilots from the State Research Institute of Civil Aviation and the Russian Aviation Register are conducting these certification flights to guarantee that the aircraft satisfies all critical safety and performance standards. The Russian authorities are closely monitoring the certification procedure for the Il regional plane, which is anticipated to be completed by the end of 2025. This timeline is ambitious, but it is indicative of the project's strategic significance to Russia's civil aviation sector. Serial production is anticipated to start promptly following certification, with the first deliveries to airlines anticipated for 2026. The manufacturing process has been established at the MiG plant in Lukovitsi, a facility with a lengthy history of aircraft production in Russia. The first three aircraft have already been contracted, indicating a significant level of interest from domestic carriers and a dedication to the modernization of regional fleets. The Dash 300 is a significant upgrade over its predecessor in terms of technology. The wingspan of the aircraft is approximately 30 meters, and it measures 26.9 meters in length. It is capable of transporting a commercial payload of up to 6.5 tons and has a maximum takeoff weight of 23.5 tons. The aircraft is capable of operating at altitudes of up to 7,600 meters and has a cruising speed of approximately 500 kilometers per hour. Its range is contingent upon the payload, with a 1,000 kilogram load extending up to 4,800 kilometers and a maximal payload of approximately 3,250 kilometers. The Dash 300's comparatively short takeoff and landing distance of 1,350 meters enables it to operate from regional and even unpaved airfields, a critical feature for serving remote areas. The Dash 300's modernization is significantly influenced by its complete dependence on Russian-made systems and components, which is consistent with the nation's import substitution policy. The aircraft's weight reduction and improved performance are facilitated by the substantial use of composite materials. The cockpit is equipped with a cutting-edge digital avionics suite that provides the personnel with improved situational awareness and ease of operation. All main systems have been upgraded to meet contemporary standards of reliability and efficiency, and ergonomics have been enhanced throughout the cockpit. The Russian aerospace industry is supported, and its dependence on foreign suppliers is reduced as a result of the emphasis on domestic production, which also guarantees supply chain security. Each of the two TV7117ST01 turboprop engines that power the Dash 300 is capable of producing between 2,500 and 3,100 horsepower, contingent upon the flight mode. The engines are coupled with six-blade AV112-114 propellers, each of which has a diameter of 3.6 meters to provide the requisite thrust and efficiency for regional operations. After a period of operational restrictions, the Dash 01 engines were certified in December 2022. However, all such limitations have been lifted as a result of extensive flight testing. Work is currently underway to extend the service life of these engines. The engines are manufactured at UEC Klimov in St. Petersburg, with expectations of increasing production to 24 engines annually by 2027. This will guarantee a consistent supply of both new aircraft and spare parts. In the summer of 2025, 
the Dash 300 program is scheduled to implement a new anti-icing system, which will improve the aircraft's operational safety and reliability in severe weather conditions. This is part of the ongoing enhancements. An updated passenger cabin interior will be implemented later in the year with the objective of enhancing the aesthetics and comfort of travelers. These upgrades are part of a continuous process of refinement, reflecting feedback from test flights and the evolving needs of operators. The production plan anticipates the delivery of the first aircraft to consumers in 2026, with an annual output of 12 aircraft by 2027. Looking ahead, this is the case. The Dash 300 is considered a critical component of Russia's endeavors to enhance regional connectivity, particularly in sparsely populated and difficult to access regions like the Arctic and Far East. The aircraft is uniquely suited to these challenging environments due to its capacity to operate from short and unsuitable runways. The Dash 300 is being prepared for export in addition to satisfying domestic demand with substantial interest anticipated from markets in Asia, Latin America, and Africa. Global demand for regional turboprops of this category is expected to exceed 1,000 units annually, according to industry projections. The Dash 300's strategic importance outweighs its technical capabilities. It is designed to replace the aging Soviet-era AN-24s and various foreign regional aircraft that presently operate on Russia's local routes. The Dash 300 bolsters the country's aviation independence and supports the renewal of regional fleets by offering a modern, efficient, and domestically produced alternative. The project also serves as a demonstration of Russia's comprehensive import substitution policy, as it demonstrates the capacity to design, certify, and manufacture intricate civil aircraft using exclusively Russian technologies and components. The Russian government has allocated 12.563 billion rubles from 2025 to 2027 to support the development, certification, and initial production of the Dash 300. This funding guarantees the program's long-term sustainability by establishing a robust supply chain for spare parts and maintenance support, in addition to the aircraft itself. In conclusion, the Dash 300 is on the brink of becoming the foundation of Russia's regional aviation sector in the years ahead. It is a significant advancement for the Russian aerospace industry due to its emphasis on domestic production, modern systems, and advanced design. It is anticipated that the aircraft will significantly improve regional aviation connectivity in Russia and potentially in international markets as it enters serial production and completes certification. Now, do you think the IL-114 will be competitive in the international markets? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.